We're joined now by Emily Sisson. Emily, how are you? I'm good. Thanks for having me. Of course. First off, your thoughts about this winter? It's, it's cold. It's a cold one. <laughs> it's pretty awful, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Not yeah. Bad. Okay. I like to, you know, a good icebreaker, pun intended, you know, talk about <laughs> the weather. But anyway, so let's, you know, all questions aside, you set a national record at Big East. You broke a record held by Kim Smith, a previous friar here that ran here in 2004. How does that feel to break a national record and also have it be one that was held by a friar? Uh, thanks. Yeah, it felt really good. And um, I'm just kind of happy to kind of keep it in the family, I guess. Yeah. And I hope the next person that breaks, it's a friar as well to keep that going. Hopefully not for like another 20 years though, right? <laughs> no, no. You won't be petty about that? <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Okay. All right. Just checking. Anyway, so what were your expectations going into Big East? I mean, not everyone expects to be setting national records, but maybe did you have kind of like a vibe like, hey, I think I could do something special here? Uh, no, not at all, really. Uh, I raced down in the armory two weeks prior for the Millrose Games, and uh, I didn't want to go a full month without having a hard race before nationals, so I just was looking to get a good effort out of it. And then it, I don't, it, I just felt good, I guess, and um, it helped like the whole like crowd and got really into it, and I could hear my teammates and coaches and everything, so I just... Um, I just kind of, I don't know, it just happened, but it felt really good. Yeah, it certainly looked like it was an incredible feeling there, as you saw you go on your uh, victory lap there. But uh, what are your feelings now going to nationals? I mean, if some eyes may be turning towards you now, do you feel any of that extra pressure? Are you just trying to ignore it a little bit? What are your thoughts? Yeah, I'm just not really trying to think about it too much. I'm just trying to enjoy um, the fitness that I'm at right now and just enjoy like every step of this. And uh, I'm looking forward to the 5K. I'm just going to look at that first and then I'll do the 3k the next day and um, that'll just be a bonus. Now word on the street is you had a little bit of an interesting <laughs> pre-race routine. Could you tell us about maybe some of the things that you were uh, doing before your race there? <laughs> I don't know if I'd call it a routine but we had uh, three or four hours to kill at the armory before the race. And Track meets are always the longest. Yeah, <laughs> They are pretty long especially when they get delayed and so I was just looking up YouTube video, funny animal YouTube videos with my teammates. Um, Bree and I were just looking at just ridiculous ones and just like laughing and it was pretty relaxed. <laughs> so I think that got you in right from my mind. Thank you so much for coming Thank on. You. Good luck in nationals. Thank you.